Hello, welcome to another video. We're going to find a power series for this function. And we know that all we need is a rational expression so we can make it look like the sum to infinity for a convergent geometric series. Well, if you've seen other videos, you would understand what I'm saying. Well, check in the description. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there'll be some other videos I'm going to provide the links to. Now, remember, we just want to have polynomials. You want to have x raised to power something, and you now have numbers multiplying it. That's it. That's all you need. But right now, you have natural log. We don't want to see any natural log. So how do we create a rational expression from this? Well, you remember that if you take the derivative of any natural log function, you're more likely to get a rational expression. For example, ln of x, the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. See, a rational expression shows up. If you do the same thing here, well, this might be a problem, but not a major problem because you can take this 3x and put it here if you rewrite this expression. And now you have 3x multiplying something. You can ignore this 3x and then just deal with whatever you get as a rational expression and then bring back the 3x because this is a polynomial. So watch this. So as you can see, the 3x was not a problem, okay? Don't let it throw you off when you see it. What we need to do now is, because this is already a polynomial, but this is not a polynomial. So what can we do with this? We know the derivative of ln of x squared minus 2 will give us a rational expression, which we can then manipulate and get our um, infinite series, our power series, okay, from. So that's what we're going to do. And let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is to say, consider the derivative of the natural log of x squared minus 2, okay? We know that the derivative ln of x squared minus 2, we take the derivative, it's going to be the derivative of what's inside over what's inside. If you watch my other videos, that's how you take the derivative of any natural log function. Take the derivative of the argument and place it on the argument and you're done. So what's the argument? It's x squared minus 2. What's the derivative of this? It's 2x. And what's inside? x squared minus 2. That's it. So we have to work with this because this is now a rational expression. We can convert this into a power series. And then when we're done, we multiply it by 3x. You see that? And we're good. So let's convert this into a power series. Well, it's easy. We can write this as equal to, because we want this to be 1, we can pull out the 2x. And so we're multiplying by 1. And then under, well, this is x squared minus 2. We have to rewrite it as, um, let's write it at minus 2 plus x squared, because actually that's the best form. We want to write it this way. This is 2x over, this would be negative 2 plus x squared, because we want 1 to be here, 1 to be here. So switching it this way. Now, what can we factor out so that what we have here is 1? Let's do it this way. So this is going to be 2x. We're going to have 2x on top. We can factor out negative 2 here, so that what's here is still 1. And under, we have 1 here, and here we have minus x squared over 2. Oh, we're good. That's it. Once you're able to generate this where you have 1, 1, minus something, this something becomes your r. So we can write this expression, this derivative. So the natural log of x squared minus 2, the derivative of this function is equal to, let's write this. Well, this can cancel this. So you have just minus x on the outside and on the inside you're going to have a power series. Now we can write this as a power series. Remember, for the power series, this is all you need to write. n equals 0 to infinity of r raised to power n. That's it, r raised to power n. And this is the r, x squared over 2. So this is equal to the sum 
from n equals 0 to infinity of x squared over 2 raised to power n. And that's it. Well, we can try and simplify this. The same thing as negative x times n equals 0, infinity, and this is going to be 1 half. 1 over 2 raised to power n times x raised to power 2n. Nice. And we can clean this up. We can move this x in now. And then what you're going to have will be um, the sum n equals 0 to infinity of, what would this be? This minus goes in. We're just going to leave the minus there. Oh, we can write it as minus 1. Use the minus to multiply this. So it's minus 1 over 2 raised to power n, and then this x multiplies this, you're going to get x raised to power 2n plus 1. And that is this. But remember, we're not looking for the derivative, we're looking for the actual function. So let's go back, and don't forget, we still have this 3x hanging out here, so we want to get this. When we get this, we can now multiply it by 3x. So how do we get this? Um, this one, this part, we just have to integrate. If you integrate the right-hand side, so we're going to have the natural log without the derivative symbol now, x squared minus 2 will be the integral of this. You see that? n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 over 2 raised to power n, x to the 2n, 2n plus 1. Well, this integral goes in all the way here because this is the part that has the x you want to integrate as the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 over 2 raised to power n, and then you have the integral of x to the 2n plus 1 dx. Oh, I forgot to put dx here. That's terrible. dx. Okay. I hope that, that saves the day. <laughs> okay, and that's it. Let's get rid of this. So what would the integral of this be? Um, our answer here is going to be equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 over 2n multiplied by, if you integrate this, it's going to be x raised to the power 2n plus 2. You add 1 to it over 2n plus 2. And that's it. Now, what about this? We know that f of x will now be equal to, you bring back the 3x, it's going to be 3x multiplied by this sum, n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 over, uh, we can write this as, no, this is 2 raised to power n, not 2n, 2 raised to power n. Okay. 2 raised to the power n, and uh, this is going to be 2 to the n, let's write it as 2n plus 2, then 2 to the n, and then we have x to the 2n plus 2. Well, I think this is going to be the final line I'm going to write. When this 3 goes in, it's going to become the sum, let's write it nicely, this is n equals 0 to infinity. This 3 will go here and becomes negative 3 over, I'm going to write 2n plus 2, which, you know what, I can factor out this 2 and then use it to multiply this. This becomes 2 to the n plus 1, so I'm going to write n plus 1. And then when this 2 multiplies this, it becomes 2 to the n plus 1. Nice. 2 to the n plus 1. <laughs> nice. Okay, and what's left? Then the x goes in and multiplies this. It becomes x to the 2n plus 3. x to the 2n plus 3. That is the power series expression for this function. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.